In this video, I'm going to show you how I rearranged my monitors to a custom setup using pre-made monitor stands. Not this setup, this is the old setup. Hello, welcome to CS Wilson Draws. I'm CS Wilson and this is my current or old monitor setup. I'm looking to change these around a little bit to be more ergonomic with the way that I work now. I've been using this setup for a couple of years and it used to be more functional than it is now. I mean, it still works fine. It's still functional, but as with most things, I think there's room for improvement. So here's the idea I have. This is my current monitor setup. There's two lower monitors side by side and one upper monitor that's centered on those. I think it'd be better to stack two of the monitors vertically like this and then have one monitor in portrait mode on the right side like this. I would still use this as the main monitor for Tecla structures and the upper one for additional views and design drawing PDFs since that's how I use them right now. The side monitor would be used for dialog boxes, reports, the drawing list, and maybe a drawing view, or two. For non-Tecla structures use, this one would display email and text documents. This one could be used for web browsing and video editing, and this one for video editing and plain doom. So I've searched all over the web trying to find a stand that I could use to accomplish this with and when that turned up nothing, then I went to see if there was somebody else who maybe had something similar that showed how they constructed it, and evidently, no one has ever done this before. And if they did, they didn't tell anyone. So that's where this video comes in. I want to show that for a relatively low cost, you can set up your monitors however you want using a combination of pre-made monitor stands. To show the stand that I'm using now, which I'll be reusing, and to better explain what I'm going to do, I need to remove the monitors, which I figured I'd have to do anyway. In addition to that, I'm going to use this, which is a single monitor arm stand. Uh, it's manufactured by the same company. Basically all I need is this. That's what I really need. And the arm, of course. And I'll leave a link to that in the video description below. Yeah, so. I need to get started. To start, I disconnected all of the power cables and then the monitor cables. I labeled the monitor cables so I could keep track of where they came from, but this probably isn't necessary as you'll see later. My original stand didn't come with quick release monitor mounts, but I was able to loosen the clamps that hold the upper monitor in place and then lift the whole thing off so I can lay it down and then remove the mount. The lower monitors are a different story. Unfortunately, I had to take those off in place, which was super sketchy and somewhat awkward. It turned out okay, and I didn't break anything, so that was good. This is my existing three monitor stand. I'll be reusing most of it, but I need to dismantle it first. I'll start with the left arm. It comes off pretty easy, and yes, that's the original tool that came with the stand about five years ago. I removed the upper mount from the pipe clamp and set it aside. I won't be needing that mount for this configuration. I then attach the pipe clamp to the left arm using the same bolt. It's best not to over tighten these bolts since they'll need to be adjusted later. Here's the right arm removed. I just bent it around to be used for the lower monitor. Here are the three monitor arms ready to be installed. These are for the two stack monitors on the left and this is for the portrait monitor on the right. I've taken a few measurements of the monitors to determine the vertical location of the arms. I want the bottom of the lower left monitor to be about an inch above the desk. The monitor is about 14 inches tall and fortunately the mount for that is right in the middle. So I'll set the arm up eight inches to the center, minus half the height of the pipe clamp attached to the arm. I'll use a hand clamp to act as a stop and slide the first arm down then tighten it up, again using the allen wrench that I've been saving all this time for this one moment. Since the monitors are all the same and they're 14 inches tall, I'm going to set the upper monitor arm to a little over 14 inches above the lower arm. This means that for the right monitor to be centered, I need to locate it about 7 inches above the lower arm. 
I have to install the middle arm first since I won't be able to do that once the upper arm is in place. Once all of the arms are located and properly tightened, I can then install the monitors. So here's the assembled stand so far, with a big wiry mess that I'll organize later. Putting the left monitors back on the mounts was just as sketchy and awkward as it was to remove them, but in the end I was able to get them back on without breaking, so that was awesome. I also want to mention that I'm installing the top monitor upside down, and also in a minute the right side monitor with its top against the sides of these. This will minimize the dead space between the screens because the bezel at the bottom of these monitors is actually wider than the sides and the top. The right monitor is being mounted to the new arm which came with a quick release slide on adapter that attaches directly to the back of the monitor. There's also this little acorn nut that's used to secure the monitor once it's mounted to the arm. Just slide the monitor on the new mount and then use the acorn nut to keep it from coming off. I needed to tighten the tilting adjustment on the new arm, but the wrench I've been using from the old stand didn't fit, no matter how hard I tried. Fortunately, the new kit comes with all the necessary tools, so I just grabbed that one. And I'll keep it with the other for the next time I decide to change my monitors around. Then I plugged all the cables and power back in and started doing some tweaking to the monitor positions. Moving them from side to side and adjusting the tilt and bevel is pretty simple, but fine-tuning the vertical position is a bit more difficult when the monitors are attached. So it's important to make sure you locate the arms as accurate as possible before you mount the monitors. That takes care of the hardware installation, or rather, reinstallation. I still have a bit more tweaking to do with the monitor positions, but I'll do that as I start using them. But first, I need to rotate the top and right screens around using the display driver. I'll show that next. There's a couple of ways you can configure your screen orientations. In Windows 10, you can right click on the desktop and then select display settings. Under display, you can select your monitor and then choose the appropriate orientation from the drop down list. After that, you can move the screens around to best represent your configuration. If you have an NVIDIA graphics card, you can also use the NVIDIA control panel to set the screen orientations and their relative positions. Other versions of Windows and other graphics cards will have similar settings. And here it is. Everything is configured, tweaked, and tightened. For the most part. I know this setup isn't for everyone, and some may find its asymmetry disturbing, but for me and what I do, this setup may just prove to be the best productivity enhancement a little bit of money can buy. Okay, it's been a few days since I moved the monitors around, and there's been a bit of a wardrobe change. I have to say, I'm really liking the new setup. It kind of feels like it should have been this way all along. I've done a little more research and found out that if you contact the monitor stand manufacturer directly, you can probably get all of the or most of the individual parts uh, rather than having to buy the whole kit and then scab out whatever little pieces that you need, like I did. I don't know if that's any cheaper or better, but it's another option. I hope you found it informative, or if you're looking to change your setup, maybe you got some ideas or inspiration. Anyway, if you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and maybe consider subscribing to my channel if you haven't already. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.